This is Earl with Hoosier Custom Cruisers in Elkhart, Indiana. We manufacture a Class B Plus motorhome. Uh, it's the same chassis as a Class C, but it doesn't have the big bunk over top. It's more streamlined, so we call it a B Plus. The chassis is a Ford E450 chassis. This is the newer chassis with the V8 engine that they're calling the Godzilla engine because it's so strong. It's got more power, more horsepower, more torque than the V10 had. We've also done some enhancement on the chassis itself by adding sumo springs to the front and to the rear. And this just makes it a lot more stable when you're driving it. So you don't have the tipping back and forth that you get with a typical Class C motorhome. It's very stable and easy to keep straight down the road. The wind doesn't deflect it as much and the semis, uh, if, if they pass you, then they're not going to push you around like, like a normal chassis. You can see the aerodynamics on the front cap. It's, it's very streamlined, so the, the wind sheds off really good. You have a big um, wide step here for the cab area. And when you open up the cab door, you see a light comes on here, LED light. All of our lights inside and outside are LED. So that lights up the step area for you very well. Clearance lights all around the front and the rear. This awning is a power awning that will work off of a remote control, or you can do it from inside, or you can do it from outside. It has a wind sensor, so if the wind picks up very much, it will come in and retract by itself. It also has speakers on the outside here that you can Bluetooth to your phone and listen to music off your phone or iHeartRadio or whatever you might like there. Down below here we have the house batteries and they're on a slide out tray like this. So we've got two 12 volt batteries. We could also do AGM batteries. We could also do um, lithium batteries. So we're very flexible on that sort of thing. After all, custom is our middle name. The entry door on this is one of the most solid doors you'll see on any RV. You can see the size of the hinges and everything on there, how durable that is. The step is an electric step. And you can just tell how solid that is. That's manufactured by a company here in Elkhart, Indiana, just right down the road. We have the grab handle here is also lit uh, with LED lights, and that's very strong and very nice looking. We have um, a porch light here, and also lights in the awning itself. There we go. There you can see the LED lights in the awning. We have outside, <clears throat> this is the water heater here. This works on gas or electric and it's electronic ignition on the gas part. So it's very easy to operate. The nice thing I like about this is you're paying for the campground's electricity if you're staying in a campground, so you can use their electricity to heat your water instead of running your propane. But if you're off the grid and you need to use the propane, then you can, you can use the propane. We have outside storage here. A little clip here and hold that open. So this is a rubber mat on the, on the bottom. Very solid. The paint on this is, and the outside on this is all full body paint, so you can't feel anything here. This is very smooth, very, very nice looking, very glossy. But this is paint with two coats of clear coat and it's hand sanded and buffed. So you don't get the orange peel effect on some that you see on some of the lower class motorhomes. This is a very high quality motorhome. Tinted glass on all the windows and they're jalousing windows, so you can open those up and if you um, turn on the uh, exhaust fans, you can get a nice airflow through there and if it rains, you don't get any rain inside. Uh, if you're the type of person that wants a slider window, we can do that. We, we will do pretty much whatever the customer wants within reason. This is an outside fill for the fresh water tank. 
We also have a fill from the other side that you can use from the regular uh, water hose connection. This is the furnace. That's the vent for the furnace. Here we have more storage. And all of our storage compartments, including the one down on the bottom I showed you, has light built in. I didn't turn that one on down there. I should have done that, I guess. On the back, you can see we have a roof rack and ladder on this model. Um, you can walk anywhere on the roof. It's all solid and decked. And we have insulation on the top that's from the aerospace industry that helps keep the astronauts and, and pilots and everything safe from the heat and the cold. This, I talked with a gentleman earlier today that we buy the product from, and he sells this to the U.S. government uh, for the aerospace industry. This will be the best insulated motorhome that I have ever ha had anything to do with. We have rollers built on the bottom, so if you do go across a, a, a dip or whatever that's very severe, it'll roll on that. It won't drag on anything else. We have a 5,000 pound hitch that's good for up to 6,000 pounds if you use the torsion bars. All the lighting is LED. We have docking lights built in above. There's a switch by the driver, so you can flip that on if you're backing into a campsite at nighttime that will allow you to be able to see a lot better in the back. We have cameras on this in the rear, we have a camera in the front, and we have cameras on the sides and the side mirrors. So when you put your turn signal on, it will um, show you the picture and the screen on the dash so you can see what's beside you on the road is in addition to your mirrors. Okay, a few things I want to show you on this side is our dump station. We have a macerator pump so you don't have the great big hose to deal with. Inside here there are valves. You can see the flashing light and they're labeled for what tank they're for. This says a black tank and you just push the button and it opens up the valve for the black tank and that closes the back. Now we have something unusual that we're doing. We have two gray tanks. We have one for the shower, and uh, then we have another one for the, the bathroom sink and the kitchen sink. Each of those are 25 gallons, so we have 50 gallons of, of gray water, which is about double what you'll normally see on a Class C motorhome, OB+. Plus. Okay, both of those are open now. There's also a switch inside here that you can turn on the, uh, the water pump if you're dry camping. And then the switch here for the macerator pump. And I'll show you this here. This is your sewer dump hose. So this pulls out, it extends out to about 20 feet. So you can pump it out of this small hose. This is a brand called SantaCon that does this. So you can actually attach a garden hose to this and pump it 100 feet away if you need to. Or you can just take this big part off and just put it down in the drain at your campsite if you have a full hookup or whatever and just dump it right there. So it's very clean, very sanitary, very easy to use. And the switch to turn the pump on, again, is just, just right here. So nothing is down below. Everything is up where it's easy to get to. Here we have the city water connection for your uh, flush valves for the sewage tanks. Again, we have three tanks, and you hook up a garden hose to this, and you can flush out your gray tanks and flush out your black tank when you're ready to store it, or periodically, if you're using it a lot, you'll want to do that just to keep things clean. So here is the city water connection. So you hook up your water hose here. 
to screw it on right there. And with this, you can set it up for um, for city water or for dry camping. And this way, for winterizing, this is really easy to winterize. You can winterize this with like a gallon and a half of uh, RV antifreeze. And in this part of the country we live in, that's very important. And then from this position, you can fill the tank. I showed you the other fill on the other side, so we have a regular fill with a gravity flow. Or you, if you're hooked up to the city water here, you can just switch the button over there and fill up your fresh water tank, which we have 36 gallons of fresh water. This is an outside shower. Save hot and cold water here. Some people like that for pets or if you're at the beach and you want to just get the sand off of you and that sort of thing, it comes in handy for that. We have an outside hookup here for cable TV. If your park has cable TV hookup, and then your electric cord plug-in is here. This is a 30 amp service. We can also uh, do a 50 amp service with two air conditioners. With this coach, I don't think most people are not gonna need two air conditioners. I certainly didn't feel like I would need two air conditioners on this. This is the LP tank. And you have another storage compartment here. <coughs> and it does have the light there. The generator compartment is here. So we have a 4,000 watt Onan generator. That's a Microlite series. Very quiet. And you can see the exhaust here. And again, with the driver's door, when you open that, you can see the lights come on. Lights up the entry area very well. This has hydraulic jacks from HWH. The controls for the jacks are right here. And these are fully automatic jacks. So you just push the button once, the jacks come down, push it again. They go down on self-level. You can do a manual level if you wish, but it has the auto feature on it. Wanted to show you the awning. This has uh, the capacity to work from outside or inside. And also it has a remote control unit that you can use. It has speakers so that you can listen through Bluetooth on Bluetooth to your phone and listen to music. Uh, we have lights built in here as well. You see the little LED lights come on and then the colored LED lights up there. These lights also are on a remote control so you can change colors on them if you want. Just a couple neat little things.